And SBS reporter Matt Cannellan is at Sydney Airport where we should be seeing Steve Smith soon. Matt, has Steve Smith touched down yet? Yeah, good evening, Ricardo. We believe that Steve Smith has touched down and he's actually meeting with his father before he prepares to face the media for the first time since his ball tampering fiasco unfolded. He has... Uh, the plenty of questions to answer from the world's media. The, the pack in there, like the public, is desperate to know exactly what Steve Smith's version of events is and exactly what unfolded over there in South Africa. His biggest decision for now is whether to continue to try and challenge the ban or whether he decides in fact to just cop it on the chin. If he does, he can play grade cricket at the beginning of next summer and that will give him an opportunity to try and force his way back into the side when his ban expires in 12 months. That'll be just in time for the Cricket World Cup and of course the Ashes in the UK next year. So we're expecting Steve Smith to speak shortly and we'll bring some of what he says to you later in the bulletin. Ricardo? OK, Matt Cannellan there at Sydney Airport. Thank you. OK, more on the cricket cheating crisis. And for that, let's go back to Matt Cannellan. He is live at Sydney Airport. Matt Cameron, Cameron Bancroft has now landed in Perth. Yeah, good evening again, Ricardo. Cameron Bancroft, the man who did the crime when it came to the ball tampering, has touched down in Perth. He's uh, very remorseful uh, looking, as you can understand, and he is speaking to the media right now. So let's have a listen to a little bit of what Cameron Bancroft had to say in Perth. Not a second has gone by since last Saturday evening when I haven't wished to turn back time and do the right thing during the lunch break. It is something I will regret for the rest of my life. But something I'll look to improve on and earn the respect back of the community. All I can do in the short term is ask for forgiveness. I hope you can find it in your hearts to allow me to progress on that journey. For now, um, I'll do my best to contribute to the community. Yes, I, I lied. Um, I lied about the sandpaper and I just, I panicked. I panicked in that situation and um, I'm very sorry. Steve Smith is here at Sydney Airport. He has just touched down and we are expecting to hear from the former Australian captain shortly and we will bring you more on that as it comes to hand. Ricardo? OK, Matt Cannellan there at Sydney Airport. Thank you. Time now for the day in sport with Michael Tomolaris and Mike, as we heard earlier, the fallout over Australian cricket's ball tampering scandal continues. Ricardo, it's a story that hasn't stopped moving since Sunday morning. This time Steve Smith, David Warner and Cameron Bancroft are currently considering their futures in the game and it follows Cricket Australia's decision to suspend the trio from international and domestic cricket. The former Australian skipper touched down on home soil from South Africa a short time ago and SBS World News reporter Matt Cannellan is at Sydney International Airport. He's live with us and Matt, uh, tell us what's been the reaction this evening. Yeah, good evening, Mike. Well, we understand that Steve Smith is here at Sydney Airport and that he's in a room out the back with his father. We're told that he is emotionally distraught and that's why we're still waiting to hear from the former Australian skipper. When we do hear from him, we will bring you the latest, of course, later in the bulletin or in our late news. But we are hearing that Steve Smith is emotionally distraught out the back and that is the delay behind the press conference that we're expecting to have. Uh, David Warner is expected to come in later tonight. Cameron Bancroft, as we saw, is in Perth and has spoken of his remorse at exactly what happened. The replacement players, Glenn Maxwell, Matt Renshaw and Joe Burns, are in South Africa. And Tim Payne will be Australia's 46th Test captain. Now, Darren Lehman spoke about resetting the team culture and a chance for Australian cricket to get back to its core values. And there's a chance for the Australian cricket team to do that and let their cricket do the talking because the fourth test in Johannesburg starts tomorrow night. And believe it or not, Australia have a chance to level the series at two all. So we'll come back to you when we do hear from Stephen Smith. He is expected to speak, but he's not particularly in a good way at this stage. But we'll bring you more when we hear it here from Sydney Airport. Tomo? Good on you, Matt. Uh, that's Matt Cannellan at Sydney International Airport. Let's go back to Matt Cannellan. He is standing by live at Sydney Airport. Matt, any news on Steve Smith? Yeah, good evening again, Ricardo. We are hearing here at Sydney Airport that Steve Smith will speak to the media in the next five or so minutes. First time he's spoken to the media, of course, since the ball tampering fiasco unfolded. I'll bring you all the latest on that later on in the late news. And, of course, you can keep up with exactly what Steve Smith says online. Ricardo? And Matt Cannellan there at Sydney Airport. Thank you. This is SBS World News with Ricardo Gonsalves.
Good evening. In a shock move tonight, Darren Lehman has resigned as Australia's cricket coach over the ball tampering crisis. The unexpected announcement came just hours after disgraced captain Steve Smith touched down from South Africa and confronted the media. Let's cross now to SBS reporter Matt Cannellan, who's live at Sydney Airport. Matt, a dramatic end to an emotional day in Australian cricket. Yeah, good evening, Ricardo. Another bombshell and a traumatic week for Australian cricket. Darren Lehman choosing to resign from his post as Cricket Australia coach at the end of the fourth test, which starts tomorrow. Let's have a quick listen to what Darren Lehman said in Johannesburg just a few moments ago. And after speaking with my family at length over the last few days, it's the right time to step away. I'm ultimately responsible for the culture of the team and I've been thinking about my position for a while. Despite telling media yesterday, that I'm not resigning. After viewing Steve and Cameron's hurting, it's only fair that I make this decision. This will allow Cricket Australia to complete a full review into the culture of the team and allow them to implement changes to regain the trust of the Australian public. This is the right thing for Australian cricket. The shock resignation comes only a few hours after Stephen Smith faced the media for the first time here at Sydney Airport after touching down a few hours ago. He was just absolutely distraught. He, he could hardly find the words. He couldn't bring himself to talk. In fact, he was so upset the press conference was cut short early. Stephen Smith just too upset to go on. After days of scrutiny, Steve Smith breaks his silence. To all of my teammates, to fans of cricket all over the world, and to all Australians who are disappointed and angry, I'm sorry. I made a serious error of judgment and I now understand the consequences. It was a failure of leadership, of my leadership. I'll do everything I can to make up for my mistake and the damage it's caused. With his father by his side, he broke down several times. Any time you think about making a, a questionable decision, think about who you're affecting, you're affecting your parents, and to see the way my old man's been. <laughs> and, <laughs> and thanks, everybody. And my mum, it's... it hurts. On the other side of the country, Cameron Bancroft, the player at the centre of the scandal, admitted he misled the media when he told them the ball tampering involved a sticky tape. Yes, I, I lied. Um, I lied about the sandpaper and I just I panicked. I panicked in that situation. I just want to show how, how sorry I am and at the end of the day, um, it's my actions that I'm accountable for here and um, they don't they don't reflect on my values and what I've grown up to be. and. Um, it's something that I'm really ashamed of and, um, and, I'm, and I'm so sorry for. Smith has been banned from international and domestic cricket for a year and won't be considered for leadership positions for another 12 months after that. 12 months too for former Vice Captain David Warner, but he won't be considered for leadership roles ever again. Bancroft banned for nine months. Sponsors are falling like dominoes. Magellan Financial Group has cancelled its naming rights sponsorship contract with Cricket Australia, a deal worth about $20 million. The Commonwealth Bank has dumped Steve Smith as company ambassador. So too has Sanitarium, the company behind Wheatbix. Sports apparel maker ASICS has dropped both Warner and Bancroft. A second blow for Warner, who was abandoned by electrical goods company LG yesterday. Red Qantas, Toyota and KFC are standing by Cricket Australia. The players are promising they'll try to earn Australians' forgiveness and will live with their mistakes. I know I'll regret this for the rest of my life. I'm absolutely gutted. I hope in time I can earn back respect and forgiveness. And Matt, former Vice Captain David Warner has just arrived there at Sydney Airport in the past few minutes. Yeah, Ricardo, David Warner has just arrived in Sydney, touched down just behind me not so long ago with his wife and his kids. We weren't expecting him to say anything as he released a statement earlier in the day admitting he'd made mistakes, saying that he was sorry and saying that he had to spend time with some of his advisors and family before making any comments down the track. Uh, but then David Warner did stop uh, in the media scrum and he did say 
uh, words to that effect that he needed to spend time with his family his priority was to get his kids to bed and that in the coming days with the clear ahead he will make a few comments on what exactly happened over in South Africa for the players who are still in South Africa there's a chance to finally let their cricket do the talking the fourth test now Darren Lehman's final test as coach starts in Johannesburg tomorrow night Ricardo okay SBS reporter Matt Cannell and they're live at Sydney Airport thank you